timeshare it. We can do that with the Steam account too. It's a weird name for it's a it's a it's a motherboard with a computer chip on it. Cheap as shit. Wait, I gotta remember how to play this. So I'm not sure. NL, do you wish that humans could hibernate? You know what? Why not? Give me, give me oh. some reasons why that would be bad. I believe if that there you are. Miss a bunch of your life. Uh, not if you're hibernating, you know, just expand your lifespan by slowing down your metabolic processes. Do bears live like 200 years? I don't think they do. But if bears didn't hibernate, would they live longer or shorter? Oh, come on. That's what I'm I saying. Think they're just regular years for a bear. Oh! I don't think so, dude. I don't think so. I don't think so, dude. Oh, Society no. would fall apart? Well, we just have to have your friend? No, not if your friends are hibernating, too. What if they hibernate on different schedules? It would be like us when we stream. Good point. You know, you're, you're, you're making a good case for this being a good idea, to be honest with you. Oh, uh, much. Oh! Is that how it is? I was just saying, like, some people... You know, you could only have, like, 5% oh. of the population hibernating at any given day. <laughs> the economy would crash? How so? Ooh, oh, yes. the that layup! Was, that was a jump over it and it went right into it. That was nice. Bears nice. immortal when they hibernate. Do <laughs> oh, you think a bear has ever died while hibernating? That's gotta suck. Never. Um, they're they're invincible when they're hibernating. Yeah. Look, that's not what I'm suggesting. <laughs> yeah. Oh! oh I just kind of waited that one out. It. I suck with that thing. I mean, I we like already virgin. sleep for eight hours a night. Which is stupid. It is dumb. Like, if you were I designing see. humans, you would never give them that. Why is no one working on a solution to sleep? Well, you, you talked about Adderall earlier. No, I'm saying, like, corporations want the most productivity possible. They're thinking about ways we can have sex on our lunch breaks, but they're not considering <laughs> just make us sleep less. But Malf also gets like Oops. three hours of sleep a night, and he's still like alive. I didn't Malf's wait for my win. Exceptional human being. Well, it takes. I don't get how people do that. Training, you know. Yeah, I think you, you got to stand up. I think the jury's still out. Like, I'm a little worried about what's gonna happen when you're like, you know, 40. But Dude, for no, now, no, it no, seems no. to be working out. Singularity. I'm gonna have a machine oh, okay. down by that. <laughs> right. I forgot about that. And I'll never sleep. That's three hours. Huh? For the 26 months. What do you do the rest of the time? You know work on projects, watch movies, you know. Okay. You realize we need to sleep to survive, right? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying we need a solution to that. So yeah. we don't need to sleep to survive. Let your brain sleep, but your consciousness work. I don't know. Let you your know, brain it's sleep. It's the city that never sleeps, <laughs> only they but actually do. Let your, your pelvis hit the floor. No, it's right, that's that. how you know that you're not taking your medication. Why didn't Mouth say project like that? It does have a, it has an project implication the way you said, you were like, Not the net! Maybe they're talking about your pronunciation. I was talking more about the idea that when you say, you know, work on it's <laughs> very scary. <laughs> oh. No, no, I haven't gotten back into, uh, I've gotten back into web design recently, nice. so I've been spending some time to brush up on stuff and just, it feels good, man. Oh, fuck. Oh, but I like sleep. Well, the thing is, if you take this medication, you won't like it anymore. You'll feel like it's the wrong thing to do. You'll feel much more comfortable just staying up and doing work or, or hanging out and doing stuff. Yeah. Why is having sex during lunch a productivity thing? Because they realize that people that feel like their sex no! drive is being wait, wait. nurtured, they actually have a, a more productive outlook and a more positive outlook for the rest of their workday. So some bosses now are trying to schedule in like a, a sex break into the workday. Hell yeah! This sounds which like I think is a great idea, really. This sounds like extremely fake news. No, it's real news. Yeah, but it, but is it though? Yeah. What's the website? No, just, it's, it's real. I'll just say that. But like, 
<laughs> you can't, you can't I read it on my website. RSS feed like a month ago. I don't remember. Who's the source? N NSW or whatever. Not safe for work. It's realnews.biz or something. It's not fake news sad. <laughs> I think it might be fake news sad. <laughs> it's not sad. Wow. Hey, whoa, guys. You all want to pitch in and we'll start up a chicken farm? Yeah. I mean, dude, I'll, t I'll buy your first 10 chickens for you. That should be enough to get started, right? 15 yeah. bucks coming your way. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to have to talk to my accountant. <laughs> but it's, it's really a business investment, so. No, it's so worth it. The, it's so cheap to feed in the eggs. Oh, it's not no. fake news, sad. Oh, three wins. I'm the fire starter. The original fire starter. Fire Fantastic I like Fire when, Probably my favorite Sean Connery song. I'm a fire starter. Stings, don't it? I just. Ooh, kiddo. I just found it on Fortune. I mean, Fortune sounds like a real news outlet. Try it. Oh, fuck. He's a god. He's a god. <laughs> No, fake news sad. That scared the shit out of me. Not 4chan. Fortune magazine. <laughs> wow. Fort Fort Fortune magazine. Fortune. It's on the Fortune 500. I'm so it's salty. magazine. That uh, Northern Lion could still be in 30 or Forbes 30 before 30 yeah. or whatever. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I keep looking at 30 under 30 and I'm like, Maybe they put me in it and didn't tell me about it, even though everybody else has their picture here. But <laughs> it seems like that's not really the case. I got a couple of years, though. Oh, Ooh. wow. That was brutal. Yeah. You know, gun. National Enquirer has been a magazine for like 60 years. That doesn't make it real. Oh, oh he's a god! Oh, what in the world? I don't know. I don't even know. It's the heart bandage. It's amazing. I gotta get good. What? I'll get back. Hey. What? No. Oh, I wanted it so bad. Give me your mind. Don't take my hard head. Good luck. <laughs> no. Hey, where could he be? <laughs> I wonder where he is. <laughs> oh no! Oh, yeah, you got it. You got it. My lab partner is in 30 under 30. That's pretty amazing. Like genuinely pretty amazing. Oh, get a draw. Money. It's not. It's not like 30 richest people. It's like 30, 30 people doing cool things under 30. Are they all Elon Musk? Yeah, some shit like that. Like that. <laughs> What's cooler than being rich? Wow. That's a good point, actually. Being really good. This is a Nick map, isn't it? No? Yeah, oh! Oh, no! <laughs> it says at the beginning when you're mine. Ah. Oh, I'm on freaking fire. Oh, but the water! Whoa. Oh. <laughs> I love that map. Ah! Why don't you guys play four-player Battlegrounds? Other? Maybe we might like next week. Yeah, they weren't it. prepared. They weren't prepared. I was prepared. Malfoy. I also prepared. don't really want to pay thirty dollars for a game. I don't really want to play. But Nick, it's more immersive. You'll like it. If anything, I think it's it's, it's the best one. One said one. Like I really didn't like H one Z one. Yeah, me but, either. Really, I mean, just a little bit. Change your opinion. On oh. It, though. Well, I guess that's fair. It just it feels slightly more. Oh Hi, Jesus! Me. Hi, me. Hey Nick. Hey. Oh. Hey. <laughs> wow, that was brutal. Look at my sneakers. <laughs> I love that shotgun. It's so OP. What if I told you it's like the division? In terms of I've never played that. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't played I it. like the weapon I mean, mods you can find. I mean, it's like That's the cool. Division Operator. 
you know, like when you divide a number by another number. Oh, uh -huh. mathematical. <laughs> mathematical, algebraic. Uh, Sorry. What'd you say, Cobalt? Uh, but which which Mal time? Mathematical. Mathematical. Yeah. I always get netted. Wow! From... Wow. Okay. Damn. Headshot. Okay, yeah, then. Still got the point. Still got, got the point. Oh, no. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> That's so good at this. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yes! I did not use the sword. Why you should have just thrown me. I was trying to be stylish. Oh, you know, you gotta give me a head start on that. Nick. Why'd you take my Ooh. head? Ooh. Ooh, the delay on that one. Oh. He would have turned the right way with the rock there. Deflection. Oh, this map. That way, I oh, I didn't think that hit me. I jumped as soon as I landed. Wow. Rude. Well done. I'm not ready to die. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, that was crazy. Bad. That sword. I got it off just in time to take you with me, at least. No, no, no. Oh. So, like, nobody disagrees that, like, a sex break is a good thing, right? Well, no, okay, what if your, your job is breeding chickens, then you want to be sexing all the time? <laughs> what if you don't work oh. with your wife, though? You can masturbate. Oh, well, okay. Well, what if you work in porn? What? What if you work in porn? Yeah, you'd be like, you should have a break from the sex where you just like <laughs> yeah. eat a sandwich or something. I think they do that actually. They just kind of chill for a bit and talk. Hello, talk? No, just like, how's your day? Like, what's going on? Like, what's the biggest dick you've ever I don't seen? Want kind a of sex stuff. Break, honestly. Oh! <laughs> I was gonna take him out with a rock. It's the whole principle of like, don't shit where you eat. What if porn is blocked? No, I think that the point is they let you look at it. <coughs> I'm the one with the heart on the head, guys. Mouth is the, the burger. NL is the duck head. Or the mallard, excuse me. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't. I knew what you were doing. Oh, going for. what? Oh. I tried to grab that grenade just to take someone else with me. <laughs> It depends on a number of factors. I think the article basically said, like, know yourself. If you're the type of person that slows down, then you probably don't want to indulge. But some people don't feel that way. Oh, not the meds! How? I kind of feel like if you work for me, you shouldn't be allowed to jerk off until Friday at lunch. Because I feel like that, like, Hell. sexual frustration gives you, like, a little extra motivation throughout the week. Like, it keeps you hungry. Look at Wolf of Wall Street. Exactly. They want, no, they wanted well, you fucking no, all No, but they, they lost all their around the moral clock. compass because they jerked off too much. It, that's, that's the true. central message of the Wolf of Wall Street, isn't it? That it's if you jerk clear. off right. that much, you're, you're going to lose your moral compass. But after that movie came out, everybody wanted to be like those guys. So clearly they were on to something. That is true. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, that's Elby, mother... Oh, I'm dead. How do you use this motherfucker? Oh. Oh, it's oh he got and, Like, if you don't want to have sex, you don't have to. Nobody's Yeah, but why should other people get to take a break? Just wait, if I don't want... No, everyone can have the break. It's just you can have sex on the break. What? Oh! You can just already do that, right? Just go into the work bathroom and the crank Q. one out. Just get, find a spot where the security cameras can't find you inside of like an aluminum <laughs> tunnel or car, something like that. You know, Crank whatever. one out. Oh, he's so close. Oh, man. No. Close one. Come on, big money. <laughs> oh, hey, how's it going, buddy? Just a regular. <laughs> yeah, you pretty much figured that out without out on the. Testing out a new break. You can either jerk off or not. <laughs> <laughs> the option is yours. You can pick any one of those things. Oh, sorry. You better win this one, Mouth. 
I believe in you. Well, yeah. I mean... <laughs> oh, don't... Oh. He got me! Oh. He Told got you. me. Good job. I had such confidence. I just win by default. That's my strategy. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. I am the uh, Highlander. Yeah, that seems like one of those. Like apparently, this is like a Sweden, Swedish politician came up with this. It's, it's one of those Swedens. Oof. And it's like Sweden, Sweden. sometimes <laughs> in the news you see a Sweden and you're like, that's pretty smart. Those guys have got their heads screwed on straight. And sometimes you're like, that's too Sweden. Like, I don't mind it. Like Stockholm mayor suggests everybody take a jerk off break once a day. I'm like, that is a fake Sweden. You're, you've gone peak Sweden there. No, anything nope. that kind of encourages your humanity seems like a good thing to me. 18 months of maternity leave mandatory for new parents. <laughs> I'm like, that's a good Sweden. Did I cook you? Oh, what the hell? Okay. But they're like, everybody gets 20 meatballs in the mail once a month. I'm like, that's <laughs> too <laughs> sweet. That sounds great. No, no, no. That sounds weird. pretty delicious. Weird. You don't want those weird. meatballs? I'll that's take 10 sweet. meatballs and be happy. Saying. That's like... Back in the day, they'd have the milkman would come and drop a fresh thing of the milk meat man. in the morning. Yeah, this guy's just got a basket, you know, like the baskets they put strawberries in that you pick them in out in the field. But it's just full of meatballs instead. I wish oh, you can hit that eyeball. I have faith in you. He's in the just peeking over come up that here. eye. I think I gotta come up here. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh no, the heat is on. We have the same thing though in Canada, you know. Like there's, there's like, whenever there's a maple syrup heist, I'm like, come on. I don't even know what just happened. Can you help us out in like the international community by not like steal money? Don't steal our maple <laughs> syrup. It just makes us look like cartoon characters. <laughs> don't get me started oh, on corn syrup Yo. though, right now. I don't know if you noticed that tax rhyme, but the milk that I bought and put in the fridge. Yeah, it's good milk. I did notice that. You didn't talk about it? No, I meant to like tweet a pic because uh, I was like, I'm gonna get a million retweets for this, but then I forgot. How did? Okay, all right, we'll take it. Hey, that's worth a million. I see that shit every day. I could retweet yeah, that. But Dan, you gotta put a spin on it. Dan would be all over. Then you all get right. the, the big, big brother Twitter crew. They're yeah, well. what's it like to break into Dan's Twitter feed? That must be incredible. Like, do you get 200,000 retweets <laughs> if he retweets you? Only, honestly, only if it's Big Brother stuff. They filter. Uh, <laughs> Big no. Brother, baby. I want to make a video so bad. Dude. I want you to be on that. I would, I oh, give it'd be so fun. Anyone. Give it a try. Why not, right? I just want to be the chaos maker. I don't even care oh, if I win, dude. No. I just want to create chaos. Like I just did. There you go. Yeah. Canada needs less maple syrup heists and more gruesome bus decapitations. <laughs> You gotta admit, that gave us a lot of credibility in the international news Is it world. gonna explode? Oh, yep. I thought I pulled the pin, <laughs> I didn't. People were like, Canada's no joke, man. Yeah. Dude, killed that dude on the bus and ate his heart. Oh, It could be an Indiana Jones villain. It's absolutely true. And then you're like, that's to Canada, because now he's released. Whoa! Do they have like a pool on Big Brother, right? Like swimming pool, yeah. Yeah. So it's like a little one, one though. If you get on, get an old Henry. Kinda, <laughs> you know, give it a couple twists and stuff in the package, break it up a little bit, maybe get it a little melty, and then Dude. put it. I guess it's a chocolate bar you're talking about. You guys yeah, don't have old Henrys? <laughs> no, I yeah. never heard of it. I thought isn't that a drink? The Henrys drinks? No. It's oh. just like a. It's like. Oh wait, are those bar. the chewy bars? Are they chewy? It's just, it's just a chocolate bar with like. Oh, a little bit of nougat. I don't think we have those. Think... There's like a Mr. Henry that you put a ring through your dick, isn't there? That's a Prince Albert. Oh, Albert, not Henry. It's not an Albert. It's a Prince Albert. There's <laughs> a huge difference. Do you guys have Mr. Big? I don't think so. Uh, I have Robin Big. I think Mr. Big is a Canadian. I thought we only had Coffee Crisp was the only thing we had. Game. Well, you find a, a, some kind of nutty chocolate bar. You, you can use the Snickers. 
Snickers might. You need a couple, though. There we go. <laughs> to infinity. The best bug. And beyond. See you later, Mouth. I win. <laughs> I mean, Canada's pretty cool. We got like four exclusive chocolate bars up here. And some potato <laughs> chips. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I can't believe that. I some guess. dill pickle potato chips the other day. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta do it, man. Tis the season. When I think spring, I think dill pickle potato chips. I like dill, actually. If you mix it with a little bit of, um, like olive oil, it's pretty, pretty delicious. I'm, I'm also What's the big dill? <laughs> pretty delicious. <laughs> Oh! Oh, oh yeah, slam like, dunked! Just even plain chips with some sour cream and then dill. Wow. The dip. It is cool. true that oh, no. our electronics store used to be called the Future Shop as well. Just Are you being mind controlled from somewhere? <laughs> what is going on here? I thought it was called Fries. No, that's no, the Texas do. one. If they had a Fries in the UK, would it be called Chips? There's a dancing sword floating in the air. <laughs> Not even a chuckle for the come on. No, That's no, I, I can't. I, I, I all day. Chuckled. I chuckled. Good one. Good one. Round you two. see, the joke is that I don't really think it's that. Oh good my one. god. No, okay, see you later. <laughs> that is your land. You have uh Oh hey, get out of there. I killed myself on my own sword. <laughs> <laughs> Video games. You don't want to do this, son. I never had a choice. <laughs> that knight helmet's looking rather intimidating. Beat. What? Oh my god. I win. <laughs> the way people are replying to that joke and saying that Fry's actually is in the UK, that's lying the point. Because they call down. french fries chips. Oh, oh, is that the joke? That was the joke! It's a little too cerebral. Though. It also works in both directions. Did you see that? I mean, Damn this... It. As long as we're talking about things that are too Canadian, that they make me resent them, nice diagonal rocket. But I don't know what there was bag, bag, a nope. marriage proposal at a Vancouver Canucks game recently where the dude proposed to his wife with a bouquet of ketchup flavored Doritos. I saw that. <laughs> and I went, really? That is like, something special, though. You know that they've got like some great inside joke or something. to be together forever. Like, for I'm pretty Day sure that it, actually the way it went down is the dude was like, hey, Canucks, it would be really nice if I could like do the marriage proposal on the Jumbotron. And they're like, well, those oh, are a pretty expensive ad rate, but if you can find a way to roll ketchup Doritos into your proposal, then sure, buddy. <laughs> All right, fair enough. That was And she said yes, intense. which was like, come on. Oh yeah, that's, that's true. She proposed to him. He said yes. Oh. Oh, you son of a bitch, though. <laughs> I'm well done. He was not riding a moose at the time. That's a little too. That's honestly, that's racist. Malf could say it, but you can't I say don't it. get offended easily, but I am. He's extremely offended right now. Yeah. Highly, highly, highly uncool. Okay, well, self disposing body. Right in the buttocks. I'm gonna have to eat extra poutine tonight to feel better. The chalet Swiss. Fuck that shit. Fuck it. <laughs> they put shredded oh. cheese on my poutine. Yeah, you it's wanna not go, okay. son? You wanna go? Box style? <laughs> he should have chopped your head off. Box my ears. Look! That was one dude, okay? <laughs> that was he's one free now. <laughs> yeah, he's exactly. So watch yourself. He's paid his debt to society. I want the box. <laughs> Kappa. Oh, didn't even wind it up. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was right outside the range. That was like on the tip. You. Not this map. Yeah, this no. Fucky. Hell. I watched Mighty Ducks this morning, and I just like I felt so good after watching it. It was nice. <laughs> why? It's a, movie, right? <laughs> it's a nice movie. The only thing I don't get is why the main guy like was so ready to quit his job to be a coach. Like, I get that he was into it, but like, he was so into being a lawyer. <laughs> Why were you watching the Mighty Ducks during just, working hours on a Thursday? No, it was like 9 a.m. I just wanted to watch a movie because I couldn't go back to sleep and my eyes hurt, so I just put a movie on. <laughs> the Mighty Ducks, like number one, right? Because they just get yeah, really yeah, yeah. interesting. No, but 
The second one, uh, isn't that where he oh. uses the knuckle puck? Yeah. Two's the got kind of a Rocky so good. Ford thing going on. Oh, it's good. It's good. I didn't like when Charlie became the coach. Like, started coaching or whatever. Oh, yeah. I was like, get back like on that hockey ring. Mighty Ducks 4 or something? Yeah, it's you made four in a while. I didn't realize. Well, like the third one is terrible. The second one is the Olympic one, right? With the cowboy dude, the lassos, yeah. and they can't call it the Olympics though, so it's like a junior something. I can't yeah. remember. It's like the Olympics, but for fourteen-year-olds. Do hockey ah. players like really talk and think about their Pee Wee League experience, like when they're well into adulthood anymore, or, or no? Pierre McGuire does. Yeah. I just thought it was kind of weird that like he met those two hockey players and they were like, "Oh, I remember you were the best in Pee Wee's." Nick, have you watched the movie Goon? I don't think so. Oh. You sh I think you'd like it. It's funny. What's that about? It's uh, it's a newer movie. It's got uh, Jay Bechamel and Sean <laughs> William Scott and uh, yes! sauce. Liv uh, Schri Schreiber. Schreiber. Yeah, Liv Schreiber. Um, uh, what are you? From X Men Origins Wolverine. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Mm. Um, it's a hockey movie, but it's about kind of like a semi biographic kind of thingy of this guy, Doug mm. Platt, who just like killed it on the ring. He'd fight, he'd beat the shit out of anybody. Does Pee Wee but, um... not mean penis in the US? <laughs> no. I didn't even know. It, I, I don't think it does, actually. No, not really. Because Pee Wee's Playhouse wow. would take on a slightly different meaning. <laughs> Uh, it's also the cinema he got caught in. Yeah. I feel like, like this is a little racist, NL, but because you're Canadian, I feel like there's a good chance you know how to ice skate. Who doesn't know how to ice skate? I've never now, ice skated. Ice... Lots of people. Mm -hmm. I've been on a rollerblade. No, I, I have ice skated, but I'm not, like, good at it or anything. I can barely stay. Oh. Oh. Didn't I even have probably, to move? I could probably go around in a circle. And that's I, about it. I mean, yeah, I can skate, skate backwards and stop, but not because I'm Canadian, probably. Although I was in hockey school as a youngster. I mean, we did oh. go, we did do public skating as a field trip, like probably 20 times. Yeah, that's but. true. A lot of kids' parties and stuff. So, oh, let's just take him to the rink. Ooh, oh, yeah. headshot. Come and find me, this guy. Coming up. No, I want to <laughs> stay there for like a second. Check this out. Get a little closer to the edge. All right, all right, all right. Check this out. Ready? Oh! That was a dirty move you just put on me. That there. was pretty dirty. The best thing when you're a kid, um, we used to have like used to live near the woods, and there's all sorts of ponds. So you'd load up the van. And you get you get some shovels and you clear out a nice little patch, and you just play around pond hockey, and it was it was a fun experience. Yeah. Although this one time we went after I had like a big lunch of uh, <laughs> oh, no. craft dinner, and after we like I got really exhausted from clearing all the snow, and I just like went over to one of the snow banks we made. And I just like macaroni everywhere. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Yeah. What, a, what a extremely <laughs> Canadian story. <laughs> and then you're too hungry to play hockey. Oh! Wow. Did I get you too? You did that get was me. Impressive. <laughs> what? Well, Kate, thanks for the resub. For 44 months, that is actually all of the months. Even the months where the show wasn't very good. So I appreciate that. How do you know when the pond ice is thick enough that you can play hockey on it and you won't fall in? Well, you let well, someone else go first. Oh. Um, yeah. I mean, honestly, back when global warming wasn't really much of a thing, the ice, very trustful. Come into uh, my heat zone. There's got to be a way to get you in there somehow. Like, throw the gun in, the gun gets hot, it fires automatically That's and shoots you. <laughs> actually true. I think that would Oh, work. it's going! Yeah, there it goes. What? That is sneaky. Like this thing is like, ah, ah. You can't hold that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, we just trusted the ice. If you feel it cracking, well then skate softer. Also the pond itself was probably like 
<laughs> yeah, less than a foot feet, deep. Two or yeah. three feet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Still gonna be a kind of pain in the ass. You gotta like ride your bike home afterward, though. It's fucking the it's Canadian winter, dude. Ain't no one riding the bike. Maybe a GT racer. I know right, people I get ride, home. ride their bikes in the winter. Walk! Give it ride to Daddy! <laughs> Ow. OP, OP. I've ridden my bike in the winter. It's not dude, that big No, deal. but there's this much the snow. The wind's always the worst. Yeah, man. Agreed. Boston was like, oh my god, hell. Yeah, it actually sucked. They did. It people was an nice. exceptional storm, though. There are some people who have still been trying to pull, like, whoa, this is my every day. Yeah, mm. okay. Tell that to the airport that canceled a thousand flights. Yeah, Folks, that's rough. Logan Airport, this is just a normal day in Boston, according to, you know, Death Note Fan 491 on <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> Aren't they making like, a show out of that? Oh, a movie, I thought. Yeah, yeah live action. Oh, on Netflix? I heard it's very out of touch. Oh. That's, yeah, I heard some some bad stuff as well about it already. They're making a Ghost in the Shell movie with Scarlett Johansson? Yeah, oh, wait, so the trailer the, looked fucking weird. The I premiere seen that yet. That was last night. Is there a tomato sco score for it yet? That's, that's how we say it on the streets. We go, hey, what's the tomato score? <laughs> What's the oh, tomato meter from Ghost in the Shell? I actually don't like the anime of Ghost in the Shell, but I might want to see the movie. What? Like, not in theaters, but like a year from now. That is a terrible map. Thank you, Killicam Young, for the sub. Woo! You're welcome. Ah, I missed! Oh! I don't like that one. I swung and ba it bounced me. Yo, Fuck you can't. You, Nick. <laughs> I haven't. I don't even know if it's good or not. This, this same fuck you for not liking the Ghost in the Shell anime, which is regarded oh. as one of the transcendental pieces no, of art in the media. That, that wasn't smart. I like how the water barrels are on fire. That's amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> gotcha. William Defoe as Ryuk for Death Note. Okay. I haven't watched much Death Note because it depressed me when I did. I've also heard that he has a huge dick. Yeah, I've heard that too. I think from you, actually. Yeah, we've, we've probably had this conversation <laughs> on the show four or five times, I think. He was at like a casting call and he had his pants off, and so he was like, I heard you had a big dick. Well, the photo like, doesn't go to casting calls. No, it was uh, I think <laughs> it was a casting theater call. or something. He pulled a Daniel Radcliffe. And he was a theater no, beater? It was, it was for Nymphomaniac. They had oh. to give him a dick double because his dick was so large that it was unrealistic for the audience. Nice. It was nice unintelligible. It didn't read as a human penis. Ooh, you're oh, cooked. That's a bad idea. How oh, and also Logan there's a video of him started. nude on stage. <laughs> so you're right. <laughs> Woo. Wow. Do you think it's weird that they put prosthetic dicks on Game of Thrones characters? Uh, like they could just all, have no. their dick out, but they just wow. have to have another that's one. That's just Hold on. Oh, was it? Yeah, because, like, sky. you know, he doesn't really have a 14-inch dick in real life or something, so... Wow, that sucks. When did you there see Hodor's penis? Not having a 14-inch dick. That's not season... Well, I miss seeing Hodor's wang. What the hell? He's just, like, they're out in the wilderness, you know, walking like they do... And his dong's just dangling? Hodor, Hodor, Hodor. That's not very nice. I don't think that happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice. Not like yeah, that. Like this. Let's do some more roasting of Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, my, I, uh, my sister. I, I didn't <laughs> sex with you. Oh, he didn't just try. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiots. <laughs> oh, I dodged when I should have dipped. You ever long. realize like how many problems on Game of Thrones could just be solved if one of the characters got an AK-47? Yeah, nearly all. They gotta make bullets for it, though. It's really like the whole show is just about like it ignores the existence of guns. If one of them just had a gun, all the problems would be solved. So like, there's a dragon. Oh, we shot it. It's dead. Why don't they have guns? It's been like thousands and thousands of years. I feel like on the show. Absolutely true. They're always just like, oh. oh. There's a wall there. All the Damn unsullied it. just like carry. 
Berettas, 9mm Berettas? Well, if everybody has a gun, then it's like nobody has a gun. I just, yeah, I feel like if you're smart enough to develop language, and you're not angry enough to completely wipe each other off. They have Earth. dragon fire and magic, yeah. like, loaded up in a barrel. It's just gonna happen. Like, they had chemistry and shit, right? Like, don't yeah. they have cannons? Wrong. Sure, yeah, they, they don't have boats. cannons yet. They know what buoyancy is, so, like... Nudes? Let's just die. Wow. What? <laughs> I, just, half an inch. I just sucked that grenade off my ass on my stream. <laughs> don't shoot me, don't shoot me. No! I, I got a really good shoot idea. Shoot me. Okay. See, I'm gonna, the idea is I'm gonna kill Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, yeah, the that's... range on that sucker. Good luck with your idea. Thank you. He's got a helmet. It worked. You didn't kill me, so. <laughs> Get it. Headshot. They have napalm, but not guns, yeah. It's dragon and fire, it's okay, get it right. not because they have dragons. Maybe they, mm, they came to okay. the decision, they're like, they're like, we could develop these nukes, but then, like, we wouldn't actually want to use them, right? So why don't we just never develop them? Right, yeah, it's true. It's like, you know, the invention of the nuclear bomb, it's like, it, you've invented a weapon that, up to a certain <laughs> point, you can't even use anymore. What did you do? I meant to put it down and get the armor on. <laughs> no, Nick got it! I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh, that was not surprised. Hey, smart. no, 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 go yeah. away. No, no, don't do this. Play that song for him. Oh, wait, no, how do you change the pitch? Left trigger? After you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. Brutal. Wait, wait, hold on. No, okay, now you play it. You play some. I wonder where this is going. Nope, oh, there he goes. <laughs> That's the anthem of Duck Game. It will never die. I always thought it was weird on Game of Thrones. How, like, you know, it's supposed to take place in, like, the analog to the Middle Ages, but then every once in a while, you know, <laughs> Jamie Lannister just pulls out, like, an iPod and goes, like, hey, did you see this YouTube video the other day? And you're like, well, that's, like... You'd think that the writers would have caught that. Did anybody see me reflect the net back onto Fox? Yeah, yeah, I didn't feel good. Because I didn't do that. I hit it with the hammer, knocked it back onto you. I don't think I pulled the W out. I needed three that time. Like, there's that episode where, like, um, Khaleesi, she's like, I don't know how we're supposed to get to Westeros. And then <laughs> the Hound just pulls out his phone it's and he definitely. goes, Oh! He goes, Siri, <laughs> what's the fastest way to get to Westeros? <laughs> and you know, take the dragons over the East Sea. It's like sponsored content, man. It's ruining. It's ruining I couldn't media. believe the dragon will, or the uh, the mountain is like a real life bodybuilder, like top five yeah. in the world. Like ice He's thing. actually a piece of the Himalayas. It was super weird when mm -hmm. he drove up Thank to like you. that incredibly pivotal duel that he had in a Kia Forte and said you wouldn't believe how cheap the gas mileage or how cheap the gas was to get here. And then he went I <laughs> <laughs> Why did he do that? It's the old Kia ad campaign. Oh. Like this yeah. guy with the hat and he'd be like I <laughs> It tastes like chicken, you know. I remember Driving that. Driving a Kia down in the bayou for some reason. Thank you yeah. ML News for the 20 months free subscription. Cause oh, I'm a rocket man. Ooh, now that's a song. But I did think it was weird <laughs> when Jon Snow started singing it at his bachelor party. And then okay, that's maybe that's all right. The bachelor party, yeah, my favorite episode. I wish I had a block button. Ooh, oh, nice no. try, buddy. Nice try, buddy, though. Oh! Wow! It's still smoking. The rock trained the mountain since he was a little hill. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like the rock. 
Oh, like The Rock. You gotta I see do. the new The Fate and the Furious number eight movie. I did see oh, the boy. trailer. The movie's yeah. out. I thought The Rock hated Vin Diesel. The so movie's all about the they, you could uh, aid your family, but it's still family. Oof. I'm the dead one. No. I think I'm the he hard head. Them, but then they're like, well, actually, Jason Statham is a bigger jackass. One. Right? I think it was Jason Statham. No! Stop burn with me! <laughs> <laughs> the net saved you, maybe. I can never find myself in startings. Common problem for young adults. Don't you try it! That was I a lot of dodging you did there. Hide there. Ow. Yeah, I gotta admit that felt pretty good. <laughs> Imagine you playing hide and seek with like your family. And <laughs> you find them hiding in like a closet or their feet are poking out from under the bed. <laughs> what is what? are you talking about? I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. He's confusing me. <laughs> he's it's a warfare. Fuck her name. <laughs> what? <laughs> go! Oh, God! <laughs> Take that box! Are you okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me! Just die! <laughs> Oh, Jesus, you can take it. <laughs> That's my box! Oh. What did you, you say over the past, like... <laughs> I can't you. You're playing oh. hide and seek with your family, and they're underneath the bed, and you see their toes sticking out. Okay. <laughs> and, and what happens after that? And then you just lob a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> that seems I'm a little coming, cruel. boys! <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Can we all die? <laughs> oh no, my least favorite map. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay down here. <laughs> That's a pretty good one, man. <laughs> oh, that was a deep cut. You ever laugh so hard you make yourself laugh? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I think that's self. Uh. Continuing. My god, he's right. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy! It's a malfunction. <laughs> They're gonna throw up! <laughs> Was it the feet coming out from under the bed that did it? <laughs> Just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was! <laughs> oh, it's so no! short, yeah. Little... <laughs> I would, I would like a present. Damn it. Oh, oh, you got my body. What? Whoa is... there, partner. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, normally there's a floor there. Hello. Hey, I don't want to come. Wow. Yeah. So, how's it going? What are you gonna do this weekend, Mal? What's your, what are your weekend plans right now? Uh, what, oh, I'm doing a, I'm doing a cooking stream this Saturday. I'm trying to do like every other. What is this? A saxophone? What are you gonna make? Wait, Let I'm me doing, guess. Um, Tacos. Mm. Well, I tweeted about it, so. I <laughs> yeah, I saw it. Enchiladas? Too. No. See, I, I made enchiladas yesterday. I saw. Oh, they were pretty good. It's the first time I've ever had enchiladas though, so I have no oh, basis no for. Backstory oh no, Yeah. They could have been garbage, but they tasted pretty good. They look pretty, pretty, they look pretty uh, enchilati. I have to credit. You should have to Chef Ramsay. He would have given you his prognosis. Yes. I'll trade. I, for, I have to give a lot of credit to my sous chef, Kate, for rolling them. Because I was like, uh. I can cook I can cook this filling, but I don't trust myself for the rolling aspect at all. <laughs> mm. yeah, what if you were the best at rolling you just didn't try? Oh, I've eaten enough tacos and burritos in my day to know that I am not the best at rolling, unfortunately. Yeah, How do they NL do it at Chipotle? They're, they tuck it so... That's, they, they get paid far space. too little for their yeah, abilities. They go to school for that, though. That's why they charge extra for guac there, that it's like a tip. 
Did you guys see that? So there, there's this whole like subway drama in Canada because they're suing our public broadcaster and we won't necessarily get into that. However, did you know in the UK, Subway has sandwich apprentices so that they can have people work in the subway but legally be able to pay them less than minimum wage? Do they oh, have them? Man. They have Dude, them. That's not, <laughs> no, that's not cool. See, I, I, I boycotted this whole shit. I'm boycotting Subway. I'm done. Wow, the tables have I turned had Subway on. today. They're suing us, man. That's... So here, chat, for you guys that don't know, so CBC was uh, is like a, a news outlet in uh, in Canada, and they were the ones who did the study. Were like, yeah, 50 oh. chicken, <clears throat> which they did very thoroughly. Like they weren't lying or making up some phony baloney shit. The problem is, chicken. the CBC Not gets baloney. like a billion dollars in federal funding, like you know, tax taxpayer dollars <laughs> that we pay, we pay for it. So effectively, they're suing me. Their customer. Yeah. I'm gonna show up the court. Honestly. I will too. Representing myself. Is it like class action then? So like all of Canada can show up? No. Oh. I mean, they had CBC as like, you know, they have a corporate facing entity or something in an ombudsman and stuff like that. Like oh, it's all ombudsman. It's all fucking. Oh, it's I'm with you, dude. I, you, we can go back and watch the episodes where I'm like, well, you know, Subway might have a case here. Like, oh. maybe they didn't do their due diligence in the scientific department. But as soon as they're like, you know, we're going to sue the CBC, I was like, yeah. you, just, you just made an enemy for life, mister. It's true. And I read some comments. I don't know. You know what Isn't it just a franchise, like, though? Like, No, it's the whole, like, the corporate entity of Subway is suing the CBC. 210 million dollars. Yeah. That seems mm. like not that much. I mean, for, for the CBC, that's a, that's a lot. Oh, so I thought I hit it at the same time. A quarter of their annual budget or something like that. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. And, and people, people are like, this, this is not a trivial boycott. People are like, just go to Mr. Sub. Mr. Sub is not good, though. Mr. Like, Sub <laughs> is the... Coffee time to Tim Hortons. <laughs> we yeah, have like a no. Time. You s oh. mother trucker! You dunked me though. I did. We have like more, no was watching Nick. no competition for Subway whatsoever. I mean, we have Quiznos, but it's still like it, they're all getting janky over here. Like all the Quiznos are extremely ghetto. Wow. And, like ooh. Oh. oh wow. So we got no other options. Like. What about Dunkin' Donuts? We don't have Dunkin' Donuts, over here. Yeah, and Dunkin' Donuts is like same level as Tim Hortons. Really? I didn't know you didn't have them. I thought they were on the same... Oh, the daddy! There, there used to be uh, Dunkin' Donuts in our hometown. Hmm. Well, in, in our home city. No! 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 You oh, let Nick yeah. have it! Yeah! <laughs> and you go oh, vaguely French. Never you know, give good. Nick it. How about Boston Pizza? Kids are walking to Boston Pizza, get lunch in like five minutes, man. Yeah, this and is... they don't, they have sandwiches, they don't have submarine sandwiches. Whoa! They do a pizza burger, though. Also, I can't support Boston Pizza because its principal shareholder is Jim Treliving, and uh, Brad Treliving is the general manager of the Calgary Flames, and there are mm. staunch rivals here in Vancouver, so. Mm -mm. Jim Treliving seems like an alright guy. I've seen him on uh, Shark Tank a bunch. Uh, Wait, Den. which one is yeah, that? That's the like younger looking one, or what? No, no he's, the, he's like the he's old man. But he's, he's only like, on Dragon's Den, I think. The other Canadian mm. ones, too. Or when you're watching Dragon's Den, there's five. <laughs> Unless it's UK Dragon's Den, in which case is zero. I'm sweating. Duck Game will do that. Oh, it's intense. I also turned my AC off, so that'll, <laughs> that might contribute. Oh. Oh. Plus, Boston Pizza kind of sucks. Nick I don't think one. you should, Yeah, I agree with you. I don't feel like you can sue... Well, you can, but I don't think you should sue the CBC. I think you should put out your own study with, like, yeah. independent scientists and be like, check it out. It's chicken. It's like the thing. If you are if you have nothing to hide, then man up. I got to call out somebody in your chat. Shadow said, I, I've seen him pitch a product. He must be a good person. You haven't even seen Dragon's Den to know what the show is. They don't pitch products. They receive the pitches. 
Yeah. Now that'd be a show. I'd watch a show where like one dude just pitches inventions over and over until one oh. catches on. Made me allergic. I don't know about this gun. What does this one do? Oh, okay. <laughs> What's the oh, you're. I ran out. <laughs> I see. Okay. Weird gun. Do what, or yeah, that's the other alternative, is do what Taco Bell did, and basically be, be like, yeah, our food is shitty, but now we're gonna, like, dust it with Cheetos. And you're like, you know what? You Yo, are this. <laughs> yeah. Ballsy, bold move. Ah! Domino's was like, yeah, okay, our food sucks. Let's make it better. And then that kind of worked out. Oh, naughty. Got some hang time. I'm suck with a chainsaw so bad. Where am I? Oh, ombudsman! Whoa! You think Dog is an ombudsman? He's a smoke ombudsman. I heard he has a failing career right now. Yeah. In Battlefield dog. Part Boys. Dog. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you. Your wife is hot. Plus, she married you for love. She <laughs> loves money. <laughs> hey, yo! What? <laughs> You flew show off like me, Team Rocket. Show me the rage. The money. Race. Also, show me the money. That's what you should do this weekend. You should watch Jerry oh. Maguire. Taco Bell had the fake meat scandal. Well, 30. And the lettuce issue. It's honestly. The, the, I wouldn't be surprised if Taco Bell's meat is just like the unballed up version of Subway's meatball. <laughs> Didn't they find cardboard in it somewhere? They were like cutting it with cardboard to get more meat? That. <laughs> I feel like, like that. I finally <laughs> figured it out. <laughs> that's pretty good. I heard that Did somewhere. McDonald's? It was devastating. You used to use the pink sludge or pink slime, as they called it, I think. It was like a filler. To make chicken nuggets? I think they also had it in some of their burgers. Extruded meat product. They basically puree all the meat into slime and then they mold it into shapes. Nice. It looks mm. real gross. People made a big fuss about it and then they stopped doing it. Yeah, but like I, up until like three days ago, I still would have ordered that chicken at Subway and I would have felt smarmy about it. I'd be like, I don't care. It tastes good. Yeah. Now I'm like, you don't understand Subway. It's the principle of the thing. Oh, it also apparently was fake news, so. That was 100% fake. I'm inclined. I saw to pictures of it. I thought it was a real thing. That's the thing about Twitch chat is they'll keep you honest. Oh fuck! I was trying to pass it on. I just honestly thought it was real. I'm on fire. Swing. All right, I gotta remember that's not not a real thing. You gotta check the sources, buddy. Oh yeah, there's a whole KFC thing where they said they were growing chickens and stuff. Now it turned out to be fake as well. It no, was like they were only growing them. the organs or something. Like, I, oh, yeah. <laughs> it goes straight to the organs. They just give them the, the hormone bullshit so they grow real meaty. Oh! Help! Help! Okay. There's lots of fire. Is that a random level? I don't think I've ever seen that one. I don't think I've seen that one either. Oh. <laughs> I thought people found out the gift for that was actually Tubby Custard from the Teletubbies. Oh, uh, it's <laughs> what? Four, 4chan Magazine at it again. <laughs> Machine extruded meat is real, they do that everywhere. Okay, so now we're on back to the confusion level again. But I feel like this is a situation where we're contributing to misinformation. You like read a headline, regurgitate it, and then all of a sudden it enters the discussion as if it's something of merit when it, that premise has not well, yet been proven. It gets obfuscated by other little mitigating circumstances, and I thought I'd seen it in like a movie or something that they were talking about it, but I must be misremembering. Pink sludge is real. All right. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I've never seen that rip the ground open. What the uh, balls was that about? That. This is one heck of a trombone. Is that a new move? I, that was the brown note. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! I looked away and never saw what did it. No! Goodbye! I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill ya. You know at a &W, the chicken is called Chubby Chicken. Yeah. So as an adult, it makes it very difficult to order, which I respect. Because you've got to really want it. you got to be like, I'll have the five-piece Chubby Chicken, please. 
You could just say chicken, like you don't have to say Yeah, but they'll be like, what chicken? <laughs> the chubby chicken and the fat burger, please. The fat burgers are delicious. <laughs> is fat burger good? It's so good. We have like, fat burgers in Vancouver. Man, I really thought it was a good burger. I had one in California when I went. One time, when I ever found it. True that Chuck just like smoke. I'll, I'll bet. I'll vouch, I'll vouch for that. I'll vouch for that. Bear's nice. dog dislikes smoke too, I bet. My, better hope not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you <have> fun. <laughs> oh, wow. He just hunted me down. <laughs> like a cheetah with a sledgehammer. I was like a cheetah with a sledgehammer. Pretty That's what much. they said. Trombone is too shiny and it makes me shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love that character. Hey, throw me a pair of shoes down here. You almost got jacked by that rock, son. <gasps> I'd really like you to throw me those shoes. Just throw them. That's not throwing <laughs> the shoes. <laughs> I threw you a sword instead. How's that? Thank you for bidding sight. Oh, Thank you God. Hell. Oh. I lost my weapon! I thought I could fool you by uh, putting the shoes on at the no. very last second. He's got the blue shot! Here's Johnny! <laughs> what happened to your millennial impression? I think it got too real. Oh. Like, good block, good block. The satire didn't come across well enough, even though I thought it was laid on extremely thick. There's this, like, nasty, uh you know, uh, receptionist at my work. Nice. And today... What a bitch. Was... I'm just... Oh, I've been sword. She was talking about Trump, and we're like, no, don't do this. And she's like, <laughs> she's like, they all want to control you, you know? I'm used to, I'm a hippie child. I'm used to, you ate when you wanted to eat, you had sex when you wanted to have Oh, sex. no. <laughs> and we're just like, come on. I can't. I can't. And she, what does having sex have to do with it? I don't know. Well, it was lunch break, so... Oh. And then... And then, okay. he's like, I blame the Millennials for Trump. Me uh, too! Yeah, me too. Like, Don't say that word around me, please. <laughs> and then I left. Nice. Go for it. But then she said, By the way, can somebody help me fix my computer? She's okay with computers. Well, no, that's not true. Yeah, that doesn't fit my, the narrative of my joke, if she's good with computers. Only Millennials know how to use computers. Oh, yeah. Nobody else. Hey! Can somebody help fix my Microsoft Word so I can write this article about how millennials have no skills? <laughs> oh, dear God. That's actually a great joke. <laughs> I want a webcomic about that joke. Oh, okay. Too high to get over, too low to get under. We're stuck in the middle and the pain is thunder! I'm trying to give this freaking box this shotgun. Oh, damn it. Maybe, Maybe she's the, boss the one who's having sex at lunchtime. Hell yeah, probably. Where's the? I can't. Okay. Did you step on my face? He's yes. Holy shit! I recently oh watched that God. movie uh, where Daniel Radcliffe is a uh, Edward Thanks, Norton man. wannabe. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking. About. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just too. stay perfectly still. Come on, come get a taste. Oh, uh, yep. Okay. All right. <laughs> I ran out of bananas! <laughs> like, sometimes I meet my parents' friends, and obviously they're a generation older than us, and they go, wow, like, it would be really cool if you would, like, say hi to my kids. Like, they would idolize you. The fact that you play video games for a living is amazing. I say, that's cool. Why don't you sell me a house at a reasonable rate, oh, then? <laughs> Tip, quid pro quo. Tip for tat. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay, sell me your house at below market value. And they're always like, get out. Yep. Uh, sorry, I thought response. business was based on the exchanging of services, but apparently not. That's a millennial problem. They look down on your service. They really do look down on my service. Oh my, I I just hit bouncies the whole time. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll sign something for your child. In 
compensation for that, could you go back in time and not drive up property prices like 800 times faster than the rate of wage increases? No? Well, I have a problem here. I guess you're gonna have to go buy a birthday present. Yeah, okay, don't worry. <laughs> we passed him up like three times! Oh. Maybe this is why kids put their parents in like shitty old retirement homes. Cause like, you fuck my future, I'm gonna fuck your present. <laughs> and now that the barbarians are at the gates, you have the audacity to ask me for help? <laughs> oh. There's some good barbs going on in there. Good barbs. Oh! Yes! Oh, oh, oh is that it? Do it? I win. I think Nick got us by like one. Yeah, you're a barbarian, that's right. Okay, oh, here's like more than one. Of anybody more than 10 years older than us. Oh, what kind of wine should I buy? What's that voice? That's the voice of someone I wanted to malign. Oh. If you want advice on buying wine, uh, as somebody who's watched two documentaries and <laughs> Sideways, uh, a film featuring Paul Giamatti. Sideways. Was, yeah, oh. Sideways. About, if you buy like a 20 to $30 bottle of wine, that's like good enough to know it was like, it's not mass produced. But it's not so expensive that you're like, I'm broke. You can ask 20... the person at the liquor store, they'll help you too. Yes. Yeah. Get the Bud Light with lime. Bud Light with wine. All right. Now, why don't you pimp your channel? Sup, dudes? Uh, 